So now we're going to have a look at how duration is actually rather limited as a way of approximating how price will change in response to changes in yield. Then we're going to see how we can use convexity to improve on that estimation and then interpret how convexity is actually useful. So to start off, how do we approximate the change in price in response to a change in yield? Remember that we calculated our duration by taking the derivative of the price with respect to yield and scaling by both the price and the yield. So we say that this is equal to negative duration because with duration we took the negative of that derivative multiplied by the change in yield over 1 plus the yield. And just take note, I've got R here as opposed to 1 plus R here because the change in the yield is exactly the same as the change in 1 plus the yield. If the yield goes from 4% to 5%, then it doesn't matter if I'm taking the difference between 0.04 and 0.05 or 1.04 and 1.05, it's still 1%. So this is equivalent to saying the change in 1 plus R. But we like to use change in R, it's just a bit nicer. Now there's one extra modification we make to this, because remember that I explained the reasoning for scaling according to the price. That was because 